face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what's up guys and welcome yet again to a bit of a news video-ish about actually an upcoming game which is of course Pokemon Gold and Silver being released in the Virtual Console. Now, I don't care about the releases or the new game. I am hyped about the new game, but I don't see a reason making a video about it, but everybody else is already doing it. I kind of feel I want to give my own few thoughts of the things I believe matter at the moment, and that is what is confirmed, and there is a gold and silver course that going to Virtual Console, and that the Pokemon in it will be able to go to Pokebank and then hopefully to Sun and Moon, or at least Ultra Sun and Moon in the future. Now, the reason this is exciting is because there are a few moves that, of course, was lost in time. Uh, while there isn't a whole lot since actually previous generation, what I do like is that at least some Pokemon get a more unique moveset due to this fact alone. And there also was, of course, events in Generation 2 that hopefully get revisited. I'm going to talk about them a little bit and I'm going to link a Bulbapedia page about those exclusive moves or events. Now, with that said, I hope they really treat this like they did with previous generation being, of course, generation red blue, where when this was sent to Pokebank, they got the hidden abilities, not the neutral one, which of course meant that Machamp could not get Fisher and Nogard. The reason this would be interesting is not necessarily because of generation two Pokemon themselves, but rather the legendaries, seeing both the likes of Entei, Suki, and Raikou getting their hidden abilities now available, even though it is inner focus in this generation, and it's kind of a nerve consider what it was before, it is still very interesting that we will possibly get their hidden abilities in another way than through an event in Sun and Moon. Now, of course, with that said, there aren't that many teams that are exclusive of this generation, but due to C moves in mind, they become a bit more niche, and this is definitely the focus of this video. So with that said, we're going to look at my flawless editing and just, yeah, talk about the teams that are available. Now, I was freaking serious. I am not the best editor, so for what it looks like, I am sorry. I really, really, really am. But we have a few moves here that are exclusive of this generation. Then I will punch, first of all, was available in Generation 3, yes. But there are a few Pokemon that have a hidden ability that was going to be passed in this generation. We're talking about Feraligated and the Nidoran twins here who actually can get Shea Force Boots and the Punches. And of course, it's another C move exclusive move for a few Pokemon. The Nightmare Punch is not as usable for Generation 3. There are actually a lot more Pokemon learning it in this generation that did before it. So it's worth mentioning that the Nightmare Punch is a very, very niche and exclusive move for a lot of Pokemons and you know a good fighting move even though clearly aren't hitting as much therefore C moves is what make it interesting because it becomes 100% accurate with C moves in mind. Now second one is of course Curse. Curse is available for every Pokemon so there are a few Pokemons that did get a bit of a boost a few Pokemons already learned like a bulk up and Dragon Dance and stuff like that but a few Pokemons did not. Tyranitar for example was a very strong Curse user I could definitely capitalize on that even then of course upcoming generation Entei getting cursed, Arcanine getting cursed, they lack proper boosting move, Curse could solve that for them. So yeah, all in all Curse as stated, available for all Pokemon and this could be very 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 interesting. Uh, for example, Misdreavus learns Curse in this generation, does not learn it naturally. Miss Bainers can now capitalize on Curse and not use it like that. But all in all, Curse is probably the major player for this generation. Um, upcoming move here is of course a rollout. Now rollout on its own isn't the most interesting one, but as stated, it is a C move and there's a lot of Pokemon that learns rollout that don't necessarily have the rocket coverage. So all in all, that's just an interesting aspect. And then we come to the big hitter being of course Sap Cannon. Sap Cannon, very, very, very strong move overall, but as the name of Punch has a bit of a niche. Uh, base power. Also, the base power here is wrong. It's not 120. It's 100 of conjunction. This is copy pasted from, of course, Bulbapedia also. And in generation two, Sap Cannon was 120 base power. Now, Sap Cannon is a move that a lot of Pokemon also can learn. So I'm definitely looking forward to see this in the upcoming generation. Sadly, I did tweet about Blastoise learning Sap Cannon. This is only through an event, not through TM, so it is unfortunate. But as stated, Sap Cannon is a very, very niche move, and as another punch is a lot more interesting due to C moves making it 100% accurate, which will mean that a few Pokemon here are able to capitalize on an electric move that they did not have before. 
a few examples of Pokemon that get access to Sap Cannon, which will make them a lot more scarier, is Alakazam, for example. Alakazam only has access to Charge Beam, so having Sap Cannon, yeah, th that's a game changer. Slowbro get access to Sap Cannon. A few other notable ones are actually Mr. Mime, uh, Tauros, uh, which of course, with the um, Shear Force boosting, makes it kinda, kinda scary. They're not gonna take that away. Dragonite also get access to it. Um, Espeon get access to it. Slow King, clearly, Miss Ravis. And um, let's see. And of course, Blissey. Well, yay. Well, Blissey's chancy, clearly. So these are the Pokemon that can capitalize on Sap Cannon. There are a lot more, but they are not necessarily made for it. But a few Pokemon here, due to the like, lasting, of course, power that they'll have today, Sap Cannon becomes a bit more niche. A bit more niche, most certainly. Another move that speaks interest is, of course, Endure. Endure has been available for a lot of Pokemon before, but it is still worth mentioning here due to, of course, hidden abilities being passed on. Uh, due to weakness policy, Endure could be a very, very interesting move overall, and seeing it, of course, re-evaluated here is definitely very, very good. The first Pokemon that comes to mind is, of course, the monster, such as, of course, Nido King and Queen, who could use Endure to capitalize on possible Salak Berry. So it's not the most interesting move, but it still is worth mentioning that it is here. Another one is Mudslap. Now, before people flame me here, Mudslap is shit. See, Mudslap is a 100 base power move. There are a lot of Pokemon learning Sap. I was gonna say Sap and Mudslap. And Mudslap overall, while not the most strongest move, still being able to capitalize on 100 base power special ground move is a very, very big deal for a lot of Pokemon. The first one comes to mind is actually Type Lotion, who could very well capitalize on that not being forced to be physical and stuff like that. That's gonna be very, very useful for it overall. Now, the last two moves are not as interesting. Um, Fury Cutter, for example, outside of being a useless meme at this point, are actually a move that will become a 100 base um, bug move, which of course is capitalized with a Sea Crystal. Um, a lot of Pokemons do learn Fury Cutter, so having a team is interesting and it can definitely mo take po most people off guard. I'm pretty sure about that. But as stated, not that interesting overall. The last move is Nightmare. Now, Nightmare on its own, not that interesting. Simu variant of Nightmare, not that interesting either. It actually raises your special attack by one. But overall, Nightmare, no, not necessarily the most interesting move. But these are exclusive TMs for this generation that are not available throughout, of course, other generations or have a hidden ability lock that it can't be combined with. That said though, I think the most interesting ones are Dynamic Punch, Curse, Sap Cannon. They are the ones that I think are very, very, well, hard to get in combined with Curse. Most certainly there are a few Pokemon here you can capitalize on getting more attack and of course defense in together. The one that comes to my mind first of is of course the Pokemon that learns Extreme Speed, being both, as I stated before, Arcanine and Entei. They could be very, 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 very scary. Though I realize that unless it actually, and they can learn actually extreme speed um, <laughs> as of right now, so it will be bond to Sacrifier unless something changes, of course, in the upcoming game. That said, though, a lot of C moves here can be capitalized on, and I really, really are looking forward to this as a whole. Now, with this out of the way, there are a few event generation 2 Pokemon that has been introduced. I'm gonna actually mention that 10, I think, was interesting. But overall, they is very likely not to be available, of course, in this game. I should also say that this list is going to be linked down below in case you want to see what else. Because there are a few weird shits that goes down there that are interesting overall. Uh, first one, Asian Power Bulbasaur. Uh, could be very well be capitalized on, definitely for, of course, a flying type being able to hit them with a rock move. I, I could see that working. And of course, with Mega Venusaur, as we mentioned, getting the, the Asian Power Boost. Yeah, that would be uh, unfortunate. Uh, Safkin and Squirrel, as I said before, it is an exclusive move and it would be a very, very useful C move for actually Blastoise. And hopefully, not unlikely, I should say, Sap Cannon hopefully is boosted by, of course, its ability as its Mega Form, being, of course, with the Mega Launcher. That would be cool, even though it would miss 50% of the time, clearly. And uh, other one, Morning Sun, Nidoran, Male. Nido King with Morning Sun would be really weird, and I love the concept so much. Um, agility on Magnemite. 
Magnemite and Magneton and Zone has always been famous for their slowness. They don't have a way of speeding up their self and had of course agility been available for them it would mean a lot for that type of Pokemon because that would mean it can no longer be forced to be, be running scoffed. It actually could stay in and attack their opponents. And yeah, overall, that would be an extremely useful for Pokemon such as this. The main reason Agility would be so good is because you could use Man and Rise and outspeed your opponent. And I think that would be extremely helpful for a Pokemon with four times a week to, of course, being able to be pulled. I'm not joking even about that. The next six ones are just as interesting, really. Belladron Whopper. Unaware? It's going to be unaware if it's passed. I'm sorry to say it, Belladron Whopper would be pretty darn insane. <laughs> I would love to see it. Quick Attack Tauros. Tauros do, has a one really, really big issue. It does not have priority. Having Quick Attack on that, yeah, really cool. This could not be combined, though, and sadly with Rock Climb or... Um, uh, body slam, so that's definitely worth mentioning if you want to capitalize on, of course, quick attack. And Dratini with Hydro Pump. Um, yeah, it gets served today, but Hydro Pump is clearly stronger. It definitely won't capitalize on a special set of Dratini and foremost Dragonite. Rapid Spin Geodude or possibly Golem. Yeah, another spinner. Uh, it wouldn't be the best one, but it's still, it gets it. It's, it, it would be great to see it. Growth, Eevee. Should I say more? What if you use Sylveon during Sun and you pull a Grove off? That that would be awesome. That would be so good. Uh, so yeah, a lot of weird stuff can be made with that in mind. And being able to set up with Grove would be extremely helpful for a lot of Pokemon. Even Leafeon to that extent. While Leafeon does get uh, Swords Dance already, uh, being able to have Chlorophyll and Grove, yeah, that's useful. Uh, Espeon can also capitalize on that, and I say that Grove will raise your attack by 2 if you are during Sun. That uh, would be... Eevee would be really, really interesting. Uh, Petal Dance Psyduck. Do I need to say more? That is as weird as it sounds, and I love it. Uh, but yeah, as I said, it, there are more moves linked down below. If you want to see the complete list with a lot of weird stuff, make sure to check that link out. But as stated, it's highly unlikely that these Pokemon will be available in Sun and Moon, or I should say, on a virtual console release of, of course, Pokemon Gold and Silver. So yeah, that's the complete list of stuff that I need to mention. We are going through a very, very different time and a very, very interesting one at that. Um, seeing this Pokemon games getting re-released in this fashion is very interesting. It definitely shows that Game Freak does have a bit of a soft spot for the older games and really want everybody to experience it. I do believe that is what it's about foremost. The Pokebank thingy magic is interesting, but in the end of the day, it doesn't do too much with all of the Pokemon, though clearly we have a few exclusive TM moves here that are mentioned that are going to be interesting. Now, as I said before, and I say it again, it's, everything is going to be linked down below the exclusiveness of everything if you want to check that out yourself. And yeah. This will be pretty much the video. I'm really glad you guys checked that out. If you have seen something or I missed out on something, make sure to write it down in the comments below. And yeah, then, as I said, it, we're going past some a really, really exciting time. Ultra Sun and Moon. Finally, a new game that are in the same... Not a freaking remake. I'm I'm so happy about that. I read originality to any extent of the imagination as possible. So I'm really glad to see the next game are actually a new game um, that makes me really 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 glad so yeah guys thank you of course so much for watching and i'll of course we'll see you in the next video and yeah don't forget about exclusive moves because the meta will change yet again and i'm really happy for it take care everyone